today we're unboxing an Xbox One X. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. I actually purchased this on a deal over Christmas, so Christmas here in the UK at the moment. So the main package itself comes with Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Motorsport 7, together with three additional games, which are Tekken 7, Project Cars 2, Red Dead Redemption 2. So I purchased this on an offer from Curry's in the UK, and it was going for £399. So quite a bargain, because with the games sold separately, this would be over £500 in general. Okay, so let's unbox this and see what we get in the packaging. So this is based on Forza design, so it comes really nicely packaged. So if I turn it on the side, and have a look what's on there. If I show here some details about it, so one terabyte, got 4K Ultra HD and HDR, and obviously Xbox One. On the back, another Forza design on there and obviously a picture of the Xbox and a controller. And if I show on this side, same as the other side. Okay, so let's take off the initial wrapping, stuck on obviously with these little sticky tabs. I've cut the bottom ones already just to help. Okay, and this has been opened up as well. So again, very similar design and another Forza related picture. That's it, so let's open it up. Okay, the actual Xbox One X here. Let's see what else we've got in there. Okay, some other bits. Getting started. This must be the serial numbers for the actual Forza that you get with this. Look in here, got a power cable, nice build quality on there, obviously fused for UK use. This side, get a HDMI connector, very chunky connector on there, really good quality it feels. Just to show, it's come in there, so there's HDMI high speed on there, and the same on the other one, but really good build quality on this. Okay, and then we've got a controller. Okay, and some batteries. Controller-wise, let's give you a close-up on that. Nice strong plastic on there. Let's flip it over, and there's the slots for the batteries. Didn't realize it actually took batteries. I thought it might have some sort of rechargeable thing like the PlayStation, but I guess not. Buttons here. Nice comfortable feel on there as well. Bit different from the PlayStation side of things. I've been used to the PlayStation for years, not owned any sort of Xbox product, so quite a novelty having this one for me. And a button there, looks like wireless connectivity, and you've got a cable there, looks like a micro USB connector there. There you go, okay. And we've got Looks like some instructions as well. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging and just quickly go through them. So I've opened up the batteries. You've got two Duracell batteries, AA and the Duracell OEM versions. Interesting, I've never actually seen those coming with a device. Um, I'll probably be using rechargeable batteries. There's no point getting these because obviously once they run out, just gotta buy the next set. I think it's better just to buy some rechargeable ones. Okay, and then you've got product and regulatory guide, limited warranty and agreement. Then you get this pack, and this has some interesting stuff in there. So initially, if I show that one, details on how to connect this up, and show that side as well. Pretty straightforward, okay. And then we've got an Xbox show, 
Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Live Gold. So these are passes for a limited period, so you can trial it out online. And then you've got serial numbers for these two games. So quite good, comes with this as a nice starter pack. And then obviously we've got the Xbox itself. So let's open this up. So just wanted to show how it's packaged. So nicely placed in this soft material. Okay, and very hefty in terms of weight. Now, let me come round and show the front of this. Very nice, cool design on there. Okay, and you've got the USB connector point. Looks like some sort of pairing button, I'm guessing, and perhaps a power button there. Okay, I'll come round. You've got some vents on this side, and if I come in close there, I don't know if you can just about make that out. Okay, you can say, you can just see, okay, so you can just see, hello from Seattle, Xbox One X. Keep going. Okay, and just to show the connectors on the back. So you've got PowerPoint there, You've got HDMI out to TV, you've got in from your satellite or cable, and then you've got a USB 1, and you've got USB 2, you've got infrared out, and you've got optical in, and an Ethernet port. And that's it, nothing more. It's very heavy in terms of weight, actually, I'm quite surprised about that. And that's it on this side. On the top, See the logo for Xbox, let's flip it over and just some pads to keep it stable as you put it down. So yeah, quite nice. Okay, so let's connect up this Xbox. So initially, let's take the controller, pop open the back. I'll take the two batteries I've got with this and just to show positive and negative on there and we'll just go in like so. That's it. Put the cover back on, so that's the controller ready. Next thing, the actual Xbox. So let me come in around the back on there. So it's just to show the actual connections. So the power connection, obviously, like I said before, goes in there. So we'll take that, plug that in. Okay, and out, HDMI out to TV, plug in that one. And we've got an ethernet port there and we'll plug that in. So I've got a cable just underneath here. There you go. So that's all connected. So let's get this connected up. So I've got my monitor here and the other end of the HDMI cable, just plug that in here. And the actual power, I've got a power point just below here and I'll just plug that in. Okay, so the Xbox is connected up now. That the actual logo comes on. So let me put it down now. Let's give it a moment. And that's what you're initially presented with for first time startup. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is actually pair the controller to the device. So if we click here, and there's a button here, just make sure you press that. And give it a moment. It's actually showing you what to click. Okay, there you go. It's paired up. Wired connection. Okay, everything is good. Network connections there. Location. Updates. Okay, one gig update to be done, so let me leave that updating. Okay, so the Xbox has updated now, so the next thing you've got to do is set up a sign-in for a Microsoft account. So let me do that next.
Okay, so let me create a new email for this one. And let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've created an account and it's just signing in now. Okay, sharing data with game and app publishers. Continue that. Okay, turn that off. Error reporting. Okay, next to that. Okay, we'll select lock it down. Okay. Okay, so these are any sort of game passes you get. Let's just say I don't have one for now. Okay, so Xbox Live Gold. Let's just continue with that. I'll just say no thanks for now. Okay, that's fine. Energy saving, we'll set that up. Okay, there you go. Got some codes I can enter in, so I can enter those in and then start gaming. Just gonna go to next. And there you go. They're ready to use now. Pretty straightforward to set up. Okay, so the Xbox One X is set up now and I've installed Forza Horizon 4. Now, one thing to note, I'm playing this on a monitor and there's no speakers on this monitor. So what I've had to do is just make a few adjustments just to get it working on a speaker I've got. So I've got a Bluetooth speaker here, but I can actually connect this to the controller via the point underneath. So there's a connection point there. I can plug in an auxiliary cable, so 3.5 mil connector on there, and auxiliary jack on there, plug it into there, and on the actual Xbox itself, if I go here and move along to settings, let's go in there, audio output, and just make sure it's stereo uncompressed, and then the sound will come out the speaker. So you don't need a monitor with speakers in there. So you can use a separate speaker or you can connect an amplifier to your Xbox and have it connected via an optical cable. Okay, so now that's done, we've actually got sound coming out of this. Okay, so let's jump into the game now. So, so the monitor I'm running on has a gaming mode. I've turned that on and the picture quality has enhanced greatly on it. Graphics wise, it's absolutely amazing. Really, playability wise is great as well. Now, I'm gonna bump into a wall just to show the actual impact on the controller. You could probably hear it vibrating. I'll bring it close and it is vibrating. So very similar in terms of functionality to the PlayStation controller on there. So it does give feedback on there. So let's go, just to show you the actual gameplay on this. And again, just to highlight, no speakers on my monitor. I've just got a speaker connected via my controller. So very impressive. So there you go. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.